Coach Darko here. Welcome everybody. Thanks for watching again. And uh, today's topic is importance of meal prep. Uh, this, might, uh, this might sound logical for some, but I think the majority of the population does not practice meal prep. So what is actually meal prep? Basically, meal preparation is obviously you prepare your meals, but it goes a little bit further than that. To actually prepare your meals, you need to have a meal plan. Right, so first, you need to look at, okay, what is my situation? Uh, do I want to weight gain? Do I want to lose gain? Uh, then you make your diet. And it can be a weekly diet, a monthly diet, a daily diet, depending on your activities. Uh, then you print it out. I have actually mine printed out, even though I'm doing this for over 20 years. You want to take the thinking out of it. The thinking should be done beforehand. The thinking should not be done and the decision making at the time that you are doing it. Right? Think about it as, as any other uh, undertaking in life, be it something serious as a war or a business meeting or anything. You make the plan before, you strategize, you make the plan, uh, you write out all the steps that you would like to take and need to take, and then you kind of put it in the back seat and you actually do it. Right? So it, uh, it's good to think, it's good to always have your brain on without, without saying, but sometimes you actually don't want your brain making the decisions at that moment because as we know, food and hunger, they trigger emotional responses. And then your brain, you know, we call it a monkey brain. This is the primitive brain based on emotion, on hunger, on, on, on all of these hormones. Uh, it will start making the wrong decisions, which will definitely not line up with your made diet. So what you need to do is write it all down, print it and put it on your fridge, put it anywhere that you need to and uh, prepare meals based on that. So I have a little example here. It's, everybody knows this big box, a little box. I can put my, uh, uh, my meat in here. If I'm just having a meat meal, sometimes I just have a fish or just have a chicken. This is plenty to put 250 grams of meat into this. If I'm having a salad, then I obviously need a little bit more space. And then I put my, uh, my, my greens and my salad. I put my uh, chicken or fish on top and I prepare it uh, usually for the day. I like my uh, uh, food a little bit on the fresher side. If I have the possibility, uh, luckily I, I mostly do, to make it when I want to eat it. Uh, if not, if I'm busy for the day, if I'm going out or busy with work or anything like that, I make it all in the morning. So I make all my meals except the last one because I will be at home anyway. I make it in the morning, I put it in my little Tupperware boxes and I take it with me. You know, and I have a little nice looking uh, kind of a cool box uh, uh, bag thing. So it, it, it looks actually socially proper, you know, walking around with a, uh, you know, a barbecue thing. And, uh, and uh, you can have your food anywhere and at any time. And what this actually does is it takes the thinking out of it, which is what you want. Because when you work all day, you are busy with the kids, you are traveling. I had this happen many, many times. You simply forget to eat. And uh, the first problem is you are not getting the nutrients at the time when you should be getting them. Nutrient timing is important. You can't just bunch up all the food in one meal and expect the same, same results as you were eating smaller meals. Smaller meals always trump uh, bigger singular meals in terms of uh, 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 metabolism speed up and nutrition absorption and the end result, of course, even if the calories are the same. It's a separate video. And, uh, and also what, what happens is, you know, you, you go way past your uh, eating time, your hunger goes way up and then the hormones hit you, you become angry and hungry and now you are starting to look for quick absorbable energy and that is usually sugar. That is probably not what you want to have if you're on a weight loss diet. You don't want to be in such a mental state that you are looking for sugar, for candy. This is what we see in pretty much any office around the world. You know, uh, a little bit out of boredom, a little bit out of, you know, lack of meal preparation. The sugar goes down. It's three, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. People are starting to kind of doze off. They still have a little bit more to go. Now they start snacking and grabbing things which they shouldn't be grabbing, which, you know, totally messes up their plan. So simply making your food, it can be uh, Sunday, 
you know, for serious people, Sunday is a prep day. You take two hours of your time. You make all the chicken, all the beef, all the fish. Most of the things can be prepared in advance. They can be held in the fridge for four, five, six days without any problem. So if you do this once or twice a week, which really makes it easier the rest of the week, you are not cooking, you're not thinking, you make it all in advance, meal prep, preparation, everything is sorted in the fridge. You can label it by day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. And you take it with you to work, to a day out, to social engagements. Yes, you might not be the coolest one because people, you know, will sometimes look at you and say, hey, this guy or this girl has boxes with him. Ha, 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 what a loser. And then you point at their belly and say, how about you being a loser? And look at me, how I feel and look at you. I usually it's jealousy and uh, that is giving people the comments, uh, you know, like this, which is not nice, but it does happen. I had it happen many times. We all did. And you got to stick with your plan because your body does not care what anybody says. Your body does not care what the body cares about nutrition and calories. So you need the proper nutrition, macronutrient, micronutrient, a fiber, all of this is needed. And you need the calories. And if you, if you simply stray away from these, the body will not give you the results that you want. So you, you, you can be training all day long and doing three hours of cardio if your nutrition is not on time and if your nutrition is not thought out beforehand and actually uh, uh, planned out, there will be no results. All results will be so bad that you will now start doubting the whole sport. This is not for me. I'm not good at training. I, uh, you know, I don't have the genetics. You know, I hear all kinds of excuses from people who are simply not doing the basics right. And now they blame it on everything else. I can't do it. I'm not you know, genetically blessed. Everybody can get in shape. Not everybody can be Arnold Schwarzenegger, nor do we want to be, or Mr. Universe. But everybody, every single person watching uh, now and in the future in this video have to understand that you can get in an amazing shape which you've never been before and you can be the ultimate version of yourself. That doesn't mean you will be Arnold, but you will be definitely an extremely fit and healthy and hopefully happier person with a better lifestyle. And one of the key things is these things. Prepare your food take your food, eat your food, and uh, outside of that, the body doesn't care what you're doing. You can uh, be social with friends, you can go to a cinema. You know, when I go to a cinema, I take my uh, essential amino acids shake with me. And, uh, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years, so uh, longer actually. So, uh, and, and, you know, nobody's really looking, nobody's complaining, it doesn't even, even if they are because I know it matters to me and how I feel in my own body day in, day out. It's much more important than what some colleague might feel or your friends or whatever else, you know, it's not or or, just explain to them. And if you do it properly, show them this video, trust me, they will start doing it as well. Everybody wants to be better and fitter and more healthier and lose a little bit of weight. This is a universal goal. There is nobody who says I'm perfect. I don't need to do anything. If they tell you this, they're lying. They're just jealous and then they don't want to do the work. Simple as that. They're lazy. So prepare your foods, uh, plan them out in advance and take out the thinking of that moment when you are hungry, when you want a pizza and a burger and a cheesecake because your brain is telling you, oh, this looks really delicious. But now you have your salad and your chicken and your fish and uh, you, will, uh, you will have this small victory. And every time you do this three, four, five, six times a day. These are all small victories that you are stacking. And at the end of the day, you will feel better. You will be a little bit healthier. Continue this for six months, for 12 months, and you will see your body and mind change in, in pretty much incredible ways. So, uh, you know, the goals need to be divided and every meal is a little success. Every meal. That doesn't mean you can't sometimes make a mistake and simply get back on the plan, get back on the horse. Nothing happened. That's about it. Simple as that. So yeah, that is uh, 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 in, in short the importance of meal planning, uh, thank you, taking the thinking out of it, uh, uh, having food all at all times with you. Uh, uh, you know, it doesn't need to be 17 meals a day, but if you are going out to the beach and you know you're going to be six hours, probably going to be eight hours, 
take two or three meals, maybe one shake in between, just simply follow your plan. The plan stays and the day they are put on one another and then you can continue with your day. I have traveled all over and I have done amazing things and, 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 and I work and I have a social life and I go out and still at the same time my food is simply mapped onto that and I don't miss my meals. It just requires a little bit of planning and uh, that's pretty much it. It's not that difficult. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch each other in the next video. If you uh, like the series, if you like the topics, uh, give it a thumbs up, share. It definitely helps in the, in the beginning stages of the, of the channel. I'm really trying to develop it and reach as many people as possible. So all, all help is appreciated. And uh, yeah, we'll see each other in the next video pretty soon. Of course, Darko signing off.